I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you today and this look is a very clean, crisp, kind of winged out eyeliner and really fresh, youthful skin look. So I really wanted to focus on the skin and the eyes in particular for today. I'm not going to be using a ton of eyeshadows but just really wanted to focus on like the winged out eyeliner. So let's go ahead and get started. With my L'Oreal BB Cream and my Real Techniques, uh, Real Techniques brush, I'm just finishing up putting on the BB Cream. And this is pretty dewy BB Cream, so I really want, um, I don't want to completely mattify my skin, but I do want to make it not so shiny. So I'm going to pick up this Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and this is in Buff Beige. And I'm going to put that on top of the BB cream. So it's going to add just a little bit more of a matte look and then I'll go in with my um, highlighter and add what I want. And I already did my eyebrows to save time. You're probably shocked that I'm doing my face makeup first because I normally always do my eye makeup first but in this particular tutorial I'm not wearing a lot of eyeshadow so it's not going to really um, have a lot of fallout. And now I'm taking a little bit extra of the BB cream and putting it under my eyes. It's going to act as my concealer just because I wanted to try this out. And um, blend that out. I'm not going to um, like add a contour, but I am going to add um, some color to my face using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And it smells like milk chocolate. It's seriously so delicious. And I'm taking that on an angled brush. This is the Coastal Sense like BRC N24 brush. And I love Coastal Sense brushes. They're so good. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this and put it on my cheek. Like right on, under my cheekbones. And okay, so this is looking more like a contour than just warming it up. But I'm going to blend it out. And then I'll blend it out with the Real Techniques brush that has a little bit more um, remaining foundation. So that will kind of soften the contour and just add a little bit more color than really contour. For my cheekbones I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle which is a skin finish and a um, fan brush. And this is going to go right on the cheekbones. And you see how beautiful it gives like a nice shiny, healthy look. And then I'm also going to take this down the bridge of my nose. Okay, now for blush, I'm using this blush from Sonia Keshek. It was from the Formal Affair palette, and it's the peachy one. I just think it's really, really pretty and natural. So I'm going to add that just to the apples of my cheeks and then sweeping it a little bit upwards. For my lids, I'm priming them with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to put that on my eyelids so my makeup will stay longer and so it won't crease. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking all the shadows I'm using today are from the Naked palette from Urban Decay. I'm taking Sidecar, which is kind of a shimmery, silverish color, but it's really pretty. I love it. And this is going to go on my lids. Okay, and the last shadow I'm using is Virgin from the Naked palette. And that is all the shadows, those are all the shadows that I'm going to be using today. So again, it's a very simple and easy look. And now we're going to move into the eyeliner. I'm using the e.l.f. cream liner. You could use a gel liner, whatever you prefer. And I'm taking an angled brush, which is very important because I'm making this not thick, but not thin. So slightly, slightly thicker, but not too thick. And so this is a great brush. If you want a super thin line, then use like these bent eyeliner brushes. So I'm going to pick up the product on my brush. And I have a video on winged liners. If I don't explain it correctly, there's a whole video for that. So I picked it up, and I'm going to go ahead and line up my eyes. And that is all there is to it. You just kind of connect 
from your lower lash line up and then connect it together. So it's really easy and I'm just going to finish it up. Okay, so for lashes, you could go ahead and apply mascara, but I'm just going to do falsies. And I'm using the Ardell Fashion Lashes. They're the dimmy ones. And I'm going to just go ahead and apply them to my, to my eyes. I kind of just, I think it looks a little bit more chic with the look to have lashes. But you can use mascara and it'll look really good too. Um, just use a lot of mascara. Okay, and now to blend the false ones in with my real ones, I'm using the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I'm also going to apply this to my bottom lashes. And for lips, I'm using the Kate Moss by Rimmel. Um, this is like the Lasting Finish by Kate lipstick. And it's the number 101, which is a really nice matte pink color. And it's going to tie in really well with the classic simple look. That is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have any requests, please post them in the comments below. Like I always say for every video. And um, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! This is your day, all